We have two baptisms. That's right. Do you know why people get baptized? What? So that they believe in God. Okay, so they believe in God and they read the Bible. They like that. Uh, baptism is the opportunity for us to show the world that, as you said, we believe in Jesus Christ, that we believe in God, and that we have given our hearts to Him. Do you know that there was a time in this world's history when it was against the law to preach the Word of God? Do you know that? Yeah, I knew that. And because they can't hear her well, they talk for a while. 
The other lady goes, that's the pastor. She goes, he looks like he's 12 years old. He can't be the pastor. <laughs> and I had to go to her and say, yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm the pastor for today. But what it does is it helps you to understand that God has called us to preach the word to everybody. Not only that, God has called everybody, all of us, to preach the word. You understand? So it doesn't matter whether you're your age, my age, or Bob's age. That God has called us to be representatives of His. And that you guys can do that. Do you believe it? Why do you think so many people just come to church and just sit on the pews and then go home? Do you hear what she said? I love, I love asking children questions. She said, because it makes them look more religious. And what else? And you get more friends. Yeah. Is there truth in what she said? Yes. yes. Well, listen. I don't know the reason for it. What I do know is that God has called us to be ambassadors for Him. And that this year, in 2017, we would like to see total member involvement do you know what total member involvement means? <laughs> it means total member involvement. And everybody that comes here will actually take a part in ministering somehow, some way. Now let me ask you a question. Is praying for somebody or praying for your church, is that a, a, a ministry? Yes. Can everybody pray? Yes. <laughs> so listen, if you're not comfortable with getting up front, if you're not comfortable with speaking in front of people, can you pray? Everybody can do that. No. But listen, I know your talent. You're able to play piano, right? Yeah? You play pretty good because I saw you at the Christmas program and on uh, uh, Facebook. So listen, so the talents and gifts that God has given you, God wants you to use for His glory and to share with others. Have you ever spoken to anybody in your school about your love for Jesus Christ? I didn't care about that. Did you? Were you afraid? <coughs> Did you hear what she said? You realize that the world we live in today is not the world that I grew up in. It's definitely not the world that some of you guys grew up in. But God is still calling you to do the same thing. And that's to be faithful. That's to share His Word. And that is to not be afraid. Do you want to know a secret? Oh, uh, that's okay, because it's about them. Almost all the adults are afraid to actually speak to other people about Jesus Christ because they don't know if they're going to say the right things or if they have enough knowledge to do that. So even as adults, it makes us nervous. But you know what? The Bible says that through Christ, or I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. So it doesn't matter whether you're an adult or you're a kid. This year, in 2017, God is calling you to be an active witness to share your faith. Let me ask you a question. Has God done anything for you in 2016? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it rain. Did it rain? Yeah. So listen, that's what you share with other people. Don't share what you don't know. Share what you do know. Has God answered prayer? Share that. Is God real, real in your life? Share that. That's what God is asking us to do. And if we take that seriously, then God will bless that, and God will multiply that, and the baptisms we have today will have even more. You guys can be a part of that. Okay? Yes? If your faith is as small as a mustard seed, like a seed, let it grow. Amen. You guys can be a good. Okay.